May 10th. God's word is his will. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of him. 1 John 5 13-15, emphasis added. 1 John 5 13-15 pulls together everything we have been discussing about prayer. It begins, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God. This verse applies to you if you believe in the name of the Son of God. The passage continues, so that you may know that you have eternal life. John was saying, I'm writing these things so that you can know you are connected to God. Then he said, this is the confidence we have in approaching God. What is that confidence? That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Here's that conditional word if again, if we ask anything according to his will. God's word is his will. His word is his desire, his desire is his intent, and his intent is his purpose. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. God always hears your prayers when you pray according to his will. When you pray his word, he hears himself. God will hear you when he hears the words he himself has spoken. Prayer, Father, I believe that your word is your will. Through your word, show me your will for every area of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thought, God's word is his desire. His desire is his intent. His intent is his purpose. Reading, 2 Kings 10-12, John 1 29-51.